Hello, it's Alex. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got a couple of dresses to show you that I've made recently, very much with the transition from kind of late summer into autumn, winter in mind, uh, and a few other bits and pieces to catch up on. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been here for a few weeks. I've been doing some pattern testing, which I can't talk to you about just yet. It took a little bit longer than anticipated. I've had a few days away in London, lots of family stuff on. So all of that has kind of taken priority. Not to say I haven't been sewing, but I haven't had time to make videos. And kind of with that in mind, um, I wanted to say if any of you haven't subscribed to my channel and think you might be interested in doing it, please do it now because I am just shy of 100 subscribers short of 10,000 and I have managed to negotiate the best giveaway prize ever for when I hit that 10,000 subscribers so I'm dying to get there. I didn't want to do a kind of giveaway where um, you know it's maybe some sewing patterns or I don't know a fabric voucher or something like that. that this is one item it's something I've raved about a lot and it's a fairly high ticket item so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet but please if you haven't subscribed do subscribe because I can tell you all about it when I get to that if I get to that 10,000 um, I just wanted to do something to give back really because I, I'm overwhelmed really by the fact that lots and lots of you have subscribed to me even though I am a terrible YouTuber in that I don't do any of the things you're supposed to do, I'm not always consistent, um, I tend to let life get in the way at times but um, at least you know when I post it's kind of because I want to and not because I feel obliged to and I hope that that kind of comes across. Anyway, enough of that waffle, shall I tell you what I was thinking of doing? So, when I was in Bristol a few weeks ago at my daughter's graduation, we popped into a shop that's called Finisterre, and they sell a lot of kind of outdoor clothing, but some of it's pretty cool. They've got a bit of a cool edge to it. And both my daughter Queenie and I noticed the sales assistant had this really cool dress on. Um, and it's, of course, I then went and looked on the website, and it's a pinafore style dress and she was wearing it, it was quite a warm day, she was wearing it just over a vest top and I think she had Doc Martens and some chunky old socks on with it, it looked really fab and uh, yeah so my daughter said any chance I could make her something like it so I had a little look and I thought actually it is the perfect style of dress for this time of year because here in the UK we have had the most appalling summer um, having spent a few days in London, um, 10 days a couple of weeks ago, I had forgotten how much warmer it is down south than it is up north. It's been really rubbish. I don't think we've had a day without rain um, for weeks and weeks. So I wanted to, there's no point in me making kind of strappy summer dresses at this time of year. They're just simply not going to get warm. And I did think these pinafore dresses would be perfect. So I had a good old scour. Now you might notice I'm in a different location. Um, we, this is my bedroom. We moved into this house almost 10 years ago to the day. And up until a few weeks ago, these wardrobes had no doors for 10 years. Um, but yeah, we finally went and got them from, of course, Ikea. Uh, and I thought maybe this might be a good spot to do videos because hopefully, if I stand back all the way here, you might get the full length of me, which I can't do in my sewing room. So I'm just going to trial it out. Let me know maybe in the comments if you think it works or not. I'm, I'm not wedded to it. Um, if it doesn't really work, then I'll go next door. My sewing room is literally on the other side of that wall. <laughs> um, anyway, so scoured the patterns and I found two, but first off, I kind of didn't find the second one until I found halfway through making the first one. So, da -da -da -da, see, look, I can just pull it out. Uh, yeah, this is a hacked version of the Grain Line Studios Austin dress. It's a fairly newish pattern, I think. Somehow it passed me by, I didn't really spot it. Grain Line haven't really been on my 
radar for a little while. Um, I have got the, well I know I bought the Archer shirt pattern and I can't find it anywhere on my computer. So who knows where it is. I might have to rebuy it because it is one I want to make because you know how much I like making shirts. But yeah, so this is the Austin and I say hacked because this dress has, it's quite fitted around the neckline and the sleeves, a little bit roomier over the bust. And then it comes with two options. One is a gathered skirt option and one is more like an A-line skirt. Patch pockets, I think there were a couple of lengths, a knee length and a midi. I wanted to go midi. And as you can see, I went for the gathered skirt option. Now the neckline has a keyhole feature at the front neckline. And I didn't want that because I wanted to be able to wear this in the winter over a t-shirt to be a little bit more pinafore like I suppose and whilst you could do that with the keyhole neck I just felt it might feel a bit odd so I did have to hack it so in order to do that I had to reduce the neckline down to be more scooped because otherwise I'm going to be able to get it on over my head and um, that also meant I slightly reduced the width of the straps as well. So it is a little bit different than the pattern, but I feel like doing it this way gives it a little bit more versatility. Um, I'll put it on. I like this neckline like this, but that's not to say that if I wasn't making a more summer focused version, I wouldn't do it with the keyhole neck. Um, the main feature, or not the main, but a major feature of this pattern is that it has this button band which runs from, well, the whole side seam all the way down, hopefully you can see it, all the way down to the hem, but you can omit that. It does say, I didn't really look, but it does say on their website that there are instructions on how to admit, omit that, so if you don't want to have that as a feature, you don't have to. And having searched the hashtag on Instagram before I made it, lots of people on there said that they didn't feel that they needed these buttons from the waist down to be functioning. And so I'll be honest, I didn't even make buttonholes. I literally just sewed the buttons all the way through. Um, so the only ones that are actually functioning are these at the bodice. Um, I did so my button, my sides of my dress together, so the button bands, um, before the buttons had arrived. And uh, on this side, it's the wrong way around. So obviously it should be front over back, and my one on this side is back over front, but who's gonna notice? Only me. Um, I had great fun with the buttons on this. The ones I chose were a tiny, tiny bit smaller than the ones specified. But I really wanted to find some that would match the colors in the stripe of this fabric. Um, this fabric, it's like, go off on a tangent here. Fabric, by the way, is from Simply Fabrics and it's a viscose twill. It's designer dead stock and they say on their website something like, it has come from a well-known British designer and I know that they've had fabric on their website recently that has come from Paul Smith. This feels a bit Paul Smith-like to me, so I have my suspicions. That's where it's come from. Um, I bought it a little while ago. They do still have it on their website. It's really, really nice quality. Um, and it's not that horrible, slippery viscose that can be a bit of a mare to sew with. I think because it's a twill and it's also got a tiny bit of a sheen to it. Um, it was an absolute, it was a bit like sewing with cotton, even though it's not cotton. And um, I really enjoyed sewing with it. I also, definitely off on a tangent here, I'll come back to buttons in a minute. I also omitted there was a centre front seam in the bodice. And I suspect if you made the A-line version that wasn't gathered, there would have been a centre front seam in that as well. Um, but I omitted it because of my stripes. And as you can see, I've had my stripes going um, horizontally. I always get horizontal and vertical muddled up. Am I the only one? Um, anyway, yes, going horizontally at the 
front at the top and this way vertically. Yeah, horizons. That's it. Vertically at the bottom. So I didn't want to have a centre front seam, so I omitted it. Um, literally by making sure that I shifted the pattern piece over. It was cut on the fold, but I shifted it over by the seam allowance, which was half an inch, I think. It wasn't in metric. I don't like sewing in imperial. Anyway, I'll get over it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, so yes, great fun with the buttons. I really wanted to get buttons to match the three colours in this. And... Uh, my first port of call, as always, is um, Textile Garden. Um, Maggie has just beautiful, beautiful buttons. And I was so pleased that she had some that, whilst they're not an exact match, they are close enough. And yeah, while they're a tiny bit smaller than the specified size, I felt that they worked pretty well. Oh, oh no, I thought it was a buttonhole. It's not but the chalk mark's still there. Um, yeah, I really liked that. But I did have a little play around, so I ordered quite a lot of the um, very, the three colours, so that if I wanted to, I could either mix it up by having one of each, or I could just have all of one, had a little play around. Um, yeah, it was quite enjoyable. But, you know, as I say, if you want to, you don't have to have the buttons there at all. But don't you think? I mean, at this time of year, it's quite a... What is it, about 18 degrees today? It's not massively warm, but it's not massively cold. I'm quite happy wearing this with nothing underneath it. And if I got cold, I might throw on a cardigan. But as it goes on, the weather, that is, and it gets colder, I would happily wear this with a T-shirt underneath and boots and a bit of an old trick that I sometimes do when we're in that in-between weather where you're not yet ready for tights but you think you might be a bit cold, I have been known to wear a pair of leggings underneath. So the only bit of bare leg is the bit that pokes out. And uh, some people like that look with leggings where you can see them, don't you? Um, so yeah, that's my, my trick. Now it does come in a brilliant size range. Uh, I think it's something like zero to 32, but the maximum hip size is around about 60 inch, which I know is a good size. Um, I made a size six and I did, when I got to the point of fitting, I did reduce the side seams by about a centimetre and that's only because I just preferred it that way. There is still enough room under here for me to get on a t-shirt or a long sleeve top when we start to get really cold. Um, so yeah. Love it. Because kind of pinafores were in my mind, I was again on Instagram and something came up on my feed which was the Elba Textiles Steel Pinafore. And that's not a new pattern at all. It's been around for quite a while and I just thought, why didn't I think of that? Um, because I love all of Lauren's patterns. I don't think there's one that I don't love. Uh, and this was one I didn't have. So I have to say, big shout out to Lauren and thank her because Idiot Features here ordered completely the wrong pattern. Not only did I order the wrong pattern, I got as far as checking it out and paying it through PayPal. And it was a pattern not only had I already got, I'd actually made it and it was the OM wrap dress, talked about it on here not so long ago. I don't know how I managed to do that. Anyway, bless her, I emailed her and said I'm a fool and she sent me the right pattern. Thank you very much. So, things I love about this one. Oh, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Um, there are similarities. In that, it has the same two options of like an A-line flat fronted skirt and a gathered skirt option. This one I made has the, is, is the kind of A-line option, as you can see. But this one definitely is designed to be a pinafore. It has some really nice details on it. It has these side bands that give it a nice fitted look at the sides and then they go into the side pockets on the skirt and that does that on both skirt options. Um, and it has this fabulous adjustable tie at the back 
um, which I really, really love. So as you can see, I've made, well, you may not be able to see, but I have made this one out of linen because I knew that whilst we hadn't booked it, we had decided that we are going to go on a last minute holiday. We'd kind of, you know, earmarked a week to go away. I just booked it yesterday. Got myself something of a deal. Um, so yeah, in a couple of weeks time we're going away. So I did make this one out of linen and I absolutely love it. I'll put it on again. It also has a little button feature. It's a bit like button week this week. Okay, so adjustable strap is at the back. I haven't tied it yet. Forgive the fact that you can see bra straps at the back. I just didn't have a vest with wide enough straps in my wardrobe clean. Um, so yeah, you can obviously just do this however you want. Um, and it gives you adjustability in terms of how low or otherwise you want your neckline. Um, as I said, this one is designed to be a pinafore rather than a dress. That didn't quite work, but anyway. Um, rather than be a dress on its own, which is why I've got something underneath it. I mean, if you were a bit bolder than me, because it has these side panels that are shaped, you could possibly wear it, um, but you'd have to be braless and you might be in danger of, I mean, Someone like me who's not got the biggest boobs in the world probably would be a bit safe, but I'm not sure I'd want to risk it. Uh, but yeah, again, over a t-shirt, long sleeve top in the winter, boots, whatever, will work really well. Obviously, perhaps not this version I've made because I'm not somebody that, um, I don't know, linen in winter. I know everybody says you can wear linen all year round, but... For me, it's very much a summer fabric. Um, so this one's very much made with my holiday in mind. Uh, but I am without a doubt going to make another one with the gathered skirt. Um, and I'm going to make that one longer. So it's similar in length to the um, grain line dress that I just showed you. But again, as I said, buttons featured again. So the bodice is attached to the sides of the bodice are attached with buttons and button loops. And this section here of the skirt is also open in order for you to be able to get it on. And it does again say in the pattern that if you wish to, you could also add buttons and button loops to that section there. So I found my buttons in my stash, also had bought them I promise this is not sponsored by her. I had also bought them from Maggie at Textile Garden. I really love these buttons and at first I thought they didn't match but I really like how they look. Um, so I only had enough in my stash for these four on the bodice. Um, but I have now ordered and had delivered some more so that if I feel later on like I want to add some more buttons here and I don't like how this potentially could gape. I can add them later, but at the moment I'm I'm not bothered by it. I think it's fine. Um, I very much like the back, which is not looking very beautiful, so let's do that again. I've just nipped downstairs to ask my husband to tie my bow at the back, so I hate to think what it looks like. Um, and he also said, it's really weird with those bra straps. Um, anyway, but I'm sure you get the idea. You've got Oh, it doesn't feel good. Anyway, I'll master the art of doing that. Um, I think actually you could probably, because you've got the buttons at the side, you could probably tie your bow how you like it, set the, the length and then leave it and then get it on and off by undoing the buttons at the back. Why didn't I think of that before I did this video? Anyway, um, yeah, so I love this. I love the nice big pockets. And as I said, you do also have those nice big pockets if you do the gathered skirt version. And also, in the same way as the grain line Austin dress, um, it comes in a really good size range. Lauren is also an indie pattern designer um, who is making sure that her patterns are properly size inclusive. Um, so yeah, I'd always check out Elba Textiles for patterns. They are brilliant. I 
can't remember what size I made. I think it might have been a C. I do know that it was, as always for me, spot on measurement wise for bust and hips. And my waist was about three centimeters larger than the waist size within that category. But having looked at the finished garment measurements, there was plenty of ease and I felt that I would get away with it. Um, and I don't feel like this is too tight around. I mean, my, actually my natural waist, of course, is down here somewhere. So it's absolutely fine if, like me, you're a little bit bigger at the waist than, I was going to say standard. Who's standard? So, yeah, I love it. I'm definitely going to make the other version that I talked about in a, in a more wintery fabric. And this is definitely coming on holiday with me in a week or two. So, but yeah, you can see what I mean. I think both these style dresses and, of course, forgetting um, pinafore type dresses. There's also dungarees or what do you call them out of the UK? Overalls, um, which is the same concept really, isn't it? But with trousers at the bottom. I don't want to spend a lot of time making clothes now that in six weeks time I'm going to have to put away because the weather's not playing ball. Um, you know, I could even put like a merino knit jumper underneath this, you know, like a fine knit jumper. So, um, I think this is the way to go for the time being. The other thing that I wanted to tell you is that there is a new pattern. It's being released today, the day I'm recording this, which is Thursday the somethings. Um, 31st of August. Um, which is from Pattern Emporium. And it's a new wide leg pair of trousers or pants that's designed for knit fabrics. And I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, I've had a look at the pictures and I've had a look at the pattern. Uh, normally when they just release something there's usually a discount code as well for the first few days. So I'll put a link in the description box below. I am an affiliate for Pattern Emporium so that does mean that a small percentage of any sales that you make if you use that link comes through to me but doesn't cost you any more. Um, you know I'm a massive fan of Pattern Emporium they always give you lots of different options. And with this, it is a nice, it's quite a wide leg, but wide leg trousers are everywhere right now for both summer and winter. Um, but it also comes with lots of different pocket options. It has a faux fly. And I think that these made up in something like a ponty will be fantastic. I made my own kind of version by hacking a style arc pattern and I never talked about it here because I did so much fiddling around to it, it would have been too complicated. And I used that, you know that really good quality ponty that's a viscose ponty rather than a polyester. And they are fantastic because they're wide leg, they kind of look a bit smarter than if you were just wearing leggings or joggers, but really because they're made a stretch it feels like wearing leggings or joggers and these ones they talk about the fabrics uh, quite a lot and the pattern um, instructions are always really in depth with Pattern Emporium so there'll be a lot of information about the stretch percentage you need to make them but you could make them out of pretty much anything you could even make them out of a, a stretch knit you know like that faux angora fabric that you know I love so much that looks like a knit but is in fact a stretch it's a jersey you can make them out of the jersey anything like that I just think this pattern is really really nice I've been kind of on the hunt for something like this for a little while hence me hacking to bits a, a style arc one so I'm definitely going to be buying it and I'm going to wait till I come back from holiday when I will be a little bit more in autumnal mode um, to make it but I thought I would it's worth mentioning because yeah if you like the look of it it will be a good time to buy it now um, and with that in mind just to wrap up um, I am definitely having had my little bit of a break over the summer I'm definitely gonna be back now apart from this week in a couple of weeks time um, I am of course going to be looking at all the new season stuff it is my favourite time of year. Not only am I that kind of personally, that autumn colouring, so all the colours of autumn are my favourite. Um, I just love all the layers and yeah, 
It's my favourite time of year for clothes. I think it is for lots of people. So give it a couple of weeks and I'm going to be focusing on all of that kind of new trends. Not that I necessarily feel that we should be trend-led, but you know, all the new winter and autumn stuff that's coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm sewing again like mad, so I will definitely be having something to show you next week. Don't know what just yet. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for being patient. And again, do not underestimate how fantastic the prize is that I've got for this giveaway if I get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. Because once I hit that, that number, then I can tell you what it is. And it's fantastic. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.